regering in Frankrijk onder de huur, Ruse II is, is eigen uh, dus, uh, karakter heeft, gezien de traditie van dat land, van dat hele land, dat u zien Veens in die landen in de samenleving in het Europees Parlement uh, versterkt en versterkt tegenover dat beleid van de Europese Unie. De festival moratum, which was imposed in Greece and implemented from the ex-governmental parties, PASOK and New Democracy, created for five years in Greece a recession of 25%, an explosion of unemployment, three times more. The youth unemployment is more than 50%. The average of cuts in pensions and salary was around 35 to 40 percent. And the only reforms that were truly really speaking implemented was the total destruction of the social state. Now we have to implement the agreement. Supporting the weaker part of the population and trying not only to cut pension, salaries, and social state, but increasing the income from reducing the taxation, reducing the corruption, reducing the bureaucracy. Because in Greece, the rich people do not pay taxes. Mm -hmm. And we have a very high percentage of black people. Mm -hmm. Now, our target is to uh, finalize the review of the program mm -hmm. without any uh, serious delays because we are facing the combination of the two crises, the financial crisis and the refugee crisis during the 2015, 85% of the refugee, refugees flows, refugees moves towards Europe went via Greece. There is a Greek island with the name Lesbos, which has a population of 85,000 people. And it had three, five hundred thousand refugees during the year. So our goal is to implement the agreement, but nothing more than the agreement, as IMF has from us. And we are trying to modernize Greece in terms of democracy, recreating the social state, and turn the economy to the growth. Our main goal is to reduce unemployment. Dat is het grote kapitaal in Duitsland. Dat is Deutsche Bank. I think, um, fortunately, uh, my party has been existing for more than 130 years. I must say, fortunately, because in the collective power of really um, showing people, giving them the hope, as you put it, that together they can uh, get more rights for individual people that lack rights and in fact uh, in a struggle against what is uh, the lobby or the money or whatever power that you have that makes things unequal fortunately we have been able to realize um, a lot the thing is that over the past 30 years and that's not only here in belgium or in flanders but you see what Syriza Bodemos did, why I applaud what they are doing, giving hope to people by being real, by being real and not accepting the things that are in the media repeated all the time. It being the, the struggle against the Troika and the European technocrats, uh, as for Greece, or even Podemos in Barcelona when they didn't accept that the banks that created all the trouble were putting the people outside their houses. I applaud that a lot because it's real. It's not only in Greece and, and Spain and Portugal that it's happening, but we see that uh, even in England, people ask for something real because the third wave of labor was, let's say, very poor, unexisting socialism.
te komen, zolang dat er geen grote schuldkwijtschelding komt op kosten van Deutsche Bank en die grote banken. Ik denk dat de electoral campaign we zijn constant facing critics uh, of people linking us to Zilitsa, saying to us and trying to convince people that uh, if we manage to, to rule or to do things uh, for changing politics in Spain, it could happen like in Greece. That was always what they said to us. And our answer to that question was always the same. Was no, that's not the thing. The thing is that uh, the thing what happened in Greece showed the weakness of the European institutions. Uh, clearly in a, in a really deep way. And of course Spain is not, it's not Greece. We share many things. We share concerns uh, of the high employment rates that we have. And then employment is a key issue for us in our, in our economical line. Uh, we were born to fight against corruption and mainly inequality in the society. And uh, that's why uh, we think that all these things are, are important to face. Mm. Spain, as I said, is not, uh, is not Greece, but we understand that this logic uh, respond to, to the austerity plans that they try to convince us that are not something that is just happening and will be will finished. No, they are taking advantage of this crisis so as to convince us and to make socially impossible the welfare state, which is something that we do not accept. Met de hulp van de Europese regeringen uh, hun schulden naar de Europa uh, over. Uh, uh, let me start in 2001 when, when Germany uh, has created this European Union as we know it today. Uh, in this European Union, I mean, from the beginning, from the start, there was a problem with this European Union and it, it was made in behalf of the, the strongest economy in 2001, and that, that was Germany. And all the politics uh, that we know in Europe afterwards uh, are being rooted on the export model of, of, of Germany and then the uh, government at that time in Germany uh, with, with Schroeder and Fischer and the red-green government has uh, implied this low wages politics uh, to, to, to make uh, the products much more cheaper and to, to export their products not only to China but mainly in Europe and so to have the concurrence in Europe with Greece, with Italy, with Portugal, and, and, and countries that were uh, self-sufficient uh, like Greece and Portugal before the Euro, they were, uh, they were uh, uh, written off with, uh, by that politic of, of low wages, uh, which was started with Germany, and this neoliberal German model is, is at the root of the European crisis and the, the, the banking crisis. And so we, we have to change that politics, not only the politics after 2008, but the politics after 2001. <laughs> Deze is een automatische uitwisseling van banken.